Well, by golly, I think it's wet this morning. That is not a clump of dog poop in the yard. That is a frog that I almost stepped on. See? I don't know where he's going. Well, I do know where he's going. He's headed to the barn. But what the hell is he doing up here to begin with? I walk over here to turn him a little bit, maybe. Or he'll just sit here and say good morning. Oh. Okay, there we go. Now we're officially in the swamp. I'm kind of glad the dogs aren't with me. They didn't bother to run over here with me this morning yet. Because it might not be the best thing for him. In fact, I probably should scoot him off someplace. I think I'll do that. Better safe than sorry, right? Well, yeah, I was too late. The doggy snuck over. But they're not doing anything to him yet. I told them to leave him alone. Probably the worst one to worry about is Blue because he's our rodent getter. Well, they all are, but he's the most persistent. Now that it's daylight, look at that. The water went down. Or did it go up? Enough ground fog. It's one of those nice mornings. It's so freaking damp, my head hurts. But it's mostly all back in the channel now. It's just where there's almost an air gap on this side of the bridge, but not quite. And most of the cows are out here so far. That one in the, was standing in the corner of the cow lot. I don't know why. It's like, I hope you didn't slip a calf under the fence over there. But she's not acting like it. Probably isn't even now. She's still standing there. She did a big old stretch and took her morning constitutional. It's the only thing I've seen her do. She don't look like she's done this. And uh, I really don't feel like trying to walk out there in these shoes. So, anyway. Let's see how much fun we have today. Here's we... Got to get the cord and the troughs. That's not a bad thing. I mean, it's just a hassle. Shut everything off. And put it in the trough and keep an eye on the trough. But uh, well, we got to get some warmer in these girls, too. And wet, icky day. They're wet. Yeah, we'll get her done, though. I don't know if we're going to do it today. We should. We need to. But then you wonder why. Why is she standing there? She's chewing her cud. Oh, why? Unless that happened to be a dry spot she laid last night. Because God knows the other dry spot's not dry today. Seems we have an escapee. That's not one of the ones from out here. That's her baby. Just... Literally still underneath there in the last couple of minutes. No one wants back. Can't figure it out. We'll take care of that. Doing a little shuffling around. Two-year-old over there right now. Ty is moving her over. In the general population over here. And... Uh, those two. Oh, uh, zoomy stop when the camera gets to them, wouldn't you know it? Oh, there we go. Right on out. Um, these two over here, as long as those calves are good to go, they will be dried up and they ain't sick at all, they'll get popped out. Which will make everything easier. Especially for uh, treating the coxie, because that's all in the water troughs. And if we don't have to put anything in that water trough over there, we won't. Just means that if we do have one out of calf in the next five days, which I'm surprised we haven't had one in the last couple, um, we'll have to do something different. 
we opted to start with the heifer tags. Because the ones that are sticking around get new hair tags. If you happen to see what hers says, yeah. <clears throat> okay. J is the year code for the Hereford Association. Her number is 13B. I still don't understand why mom insists on putting it on there. That's what the one in the front is for. But that's like the third one done. Well, my plan was to do the heifer caps and then get lunch and do the rest of them. I don't know about that now. I even got ring gear on and I'm soaked from being at that end of the shoot. So, we'll see. We may get the two year olds done today. Oh, uh, anybody wonder? Safeguard paste. Yeah, readily available. This stuff works. That's what we used the last time we had a really bad infestation of stomach worms. The biggest issue, though, is the dosage on it. You can read that. Most of these calves are in the middle of every one. So you go up one. By going up one, you use more. But I figured when we were figuring stuff up, I figured eight full tube would at least do the calves. And... It's pretty well ends up all the way in, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight clicks left at 220 pounds per click. So there's two cows there anyway. Actually, yeah, those two year olds, that'll do two of them. That'll get that much done. In the meantime, it's freaking wet. They always spit a little out. About before we finish going, putting stuff away. It's kind of like a caulking tube. This screws onto the end of it. There's threads in the plastic. And you hook that like that in the corner of their mouth. And it's, uh, what, 220 pounds per click. Mm -hmm. The body weight. So it's just a little one full stroke is only one click. But we just finished everybody. It's still raining. Uh, scissors are out for trimming your hair. Well, no, that pair's for your hair, but I grabbed the other pair because we had a couple with warts on their face. Cut the warts off and iodined them. And uh, now, put the board back in. That just holds this gate when we got it straight out. And Becky got it so I can't get in there. Let the cows out now. I gotta walk around. She's busy locking me out of the barn. So, now I'm going to go let these ladies back because a couple of them went back to their calves. And then I can let the yearlings back over here. We did it this way because we didn't want to run any through there. That's blocked off so the dogs can't get to it because there's cord in those tanks. So, kind of saves that. Push on the gate. There we go. Becky's going to close that. I was going to maybe I'll keep the time. I'll carry the time. It hangs over there, not down here, but you know. And these girls are just going to be a pain. Ladies, you let me through, I will open the gate. Oh yeah, I'm trying to bring them in. I couldn't beat them to the gate at the other end of the barn, so half of them made it out, and they were all being a pain in the butt. And I was like 10 minutes waiting for another body. So the gate at the other end of the barn is latched too. So I gotta go over and get it. Better so let me get this without getting squished. I can get this gate. Oh, I got two to get here. Yay. Because they were being pained. And now. They can come back and find their babies. Three here. I see two there. There should be one more, I think. I don't know, but they're all saying, run away, be free. We got rained on working cows. 
didn't get a lot of rain today. I mean, it's kind of done what it's doing right now all day long. But it was raining pretty hard there at one point. And then that bright orb comes out when we're done. But we're done for the day. Got a got a good one for you. The government ground over there. We don't know what's planted in there that it, Thailand and Brooke are both really bad allergic to it. They can be 20 feet away from whatever it is. And arms, chest, face, all ends up a mess. I called the gal in charge of that the other day. Never heard back from her. She had a good excuse. She was out of town. They had a death in the family. So, okay. And, you know, I, I try to be cordial with her. I try to be nice to her. She's a nice lady. She understands our concerns. Yeah. She's going to be out here a week from Friday, she says, when she can make it out. See what they planted where. She knows we discussed not having everything planted right against the fence. And, you know, I told her when they planted it, a couple of the heifers pulled a couple of plants out because they were reaching through the fence and grabbing it. That's way too close. And try to figure out maybe what the kids are allergic to. Maybe they can do something about that. I don't know. But anyway, you can see the water's gone down a little bit more. The kill deer are down there right now squealing. When we were working cows, there was probably a dozen of them out in that bare ground in front. They don't stick around out there, though. There's nothing there for them. But they're back over here now that the water's down. And... I see, obviously, I still got some muskrats working on a tree because that was fresh stuff I saw this morning. Now that the water's below it again. Oh, anyway, that was our day. No new babies yet. Although there's a tail swishing right there. That's probably it. Mini M cow, middle of the screen. She quit swishing it. Looks kind of like her from here. A couple of them, they just did they act like they should have done it a month ago. They haven't done it yet. She had some mucus coming out again earlier, so maybe she's getting closer. Who knows? Anyway, I'm going to go in. Yeah, I know it's up there quite a ways, but it's late enough. I'm going to go in for a little bit and dry off. And, you know, that kind of stuff. So, probably be the end of the video. Thank you for watching.